Sit. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. There you go. Good job. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to do. How is everybody doing today? My name is Jordan and I'm here with my 22 week old Boykin Spaniel Banks. This is a pretty exciting week as we did a little bit of a surprise introduction to gunfire that I didn't plan to do, as well as working on double marks. To get started, we're about to run to the park. Just wanted to get rid of these ropes off the bumpers, set up a new check cord, and then we're ready to get started. Get this rope opened up that I bought from Harbor Freight. You really got a sock? Release, good boy. So curious. See, what do we want buddy 30 feet about give or take 30 feet i think we can do that let's go ahead and tie this on here hey don't chew on that I can promise you're not breaking this get out there we go perfection good enough good enough that will work all right so we want about 30 feet give it a cut here Just like that, we got a 30 foot check cord, our two bumpers, and now we're gonna head to the park. Let's do it. This week, we're working on a little bit of intro to gunfire as well as doing a couple double marks. This is gonna be Banks' first time doing double marks. Uh, these, these early videos are just kind of passive training. I'm not really doing anything too specific. Uh, not, until, not until formal obedience begins, which my plan is January 10th, he will be exactly 26 weeks old or six months. So he is getting close. We're just about three weeks from there. So just trying to get him excited, keep him busy. Hop, 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 hop. Good boy. Good boy, here. There you go. Good boy. Hop, hop. As you can see, he's really excited. Very energetic towards the bumpers. Doesn't always want to bring them to me. Here. Good, there you go. Here. Good boy. This is just gonna be a short session. Just a quick hop, hops, get him excited for the bumper. 10, 15 yards right now. Here. Need to get better, learn how to manage this rope. Release, good boy. Yeah, the white snow is not making this easy, is it? And it's cold. I don't know why I don't have gloves on. There you go, good boy. Come on. Good boy, here. Oh man, where can I go that will not be snowing? Again, didn't work. White background, this isn't good. Nope, gonna have to change this training session up because this was a failure. Um, I can't even see it myself, quite honestly. We're gonna have to go find a different place. Yeah, we gotta go find a different area. Where the heck did I even put that? <sighs> Where'd I throw it, dude? Huh? Probably standing on it. I don't even know. Well, as you can see, this isn't going as planned. Definitely need to get some black and white bumpers and some orange bumpers. I will find that bumper, be back with you guys when I find a place that we can actually see what we're doing. All right, here we are, round number two. Found this little area that has no snow going along the pathway here. You can see how excited it is. Oh man. All right, buddy. You ready? Here, we're gonna run up and down here. Sit. Thanks. There you go, here. Come on. Good boy. Good job. Release. Sit. Hop, hop, hop. Good job, buddy. Here. There you go. Come here. Good boy. All right, now we'll try two. Here, sit. Ah, 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 ah. Over here, bud. Hey, hey, hey. Here, here, bud. Here, here, here. Go get right there. Yeah, there you go. Here. Come on. Here. All right. Like I said, this is the first time ever really doing this. So maybe he'll grasp the concept after a couple tries. Sit. Ah, ah, ah. No. Sit. Look. Here. Here. Thanks. Dude. <laughs> here. Here. Release. Touch that, bud. There you go. Good job. Here. Well, this is not going as planned. There's so much focus in his eyes. 
here, 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 here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> here. Man, he is not liking this. Come on. This is much more difficult than I was envisioning. I'm not gonna lie. Hey. Here, hey. There you go. Ah, no! There you go. Sit. Thanks. Over here. Over here. He just wants to go get the one that I always just throw. Hey. Hey. Here. Yeah. There you go. No. No. Here. Hey. There you go. No. There you go. Bring here. 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 There you go. Good. Go get. Fetch it. There you go. Maybe that was the way to start it. Right next to each other. <sighs> Still need to learn how to use this rope. Sit. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. There you go. Good job. No. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to do. <sighs> here. There you go. Release. Thanks. There you go. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. Release. Well, I think we are going to call that a session. Reach out, talk to some people, <laughs> see, see what I can do. Um, not exactly what I was expecting today to go like but on the bright side we got him introduced to some gunfire and he did not seem to mind so let's watch some of that oh loaded up ready to go that was not as planned um, I think this is a good lesson today things aren't always gonna go as you plan it was frustrating I wanted to keep going until you got it right but I know that's not always gonna be the case so I think it was good to pack it up let him have one more fun bumper and get on the road go home relax for the day Try again tomorrow, and again, he's only 22 weeks old, so we have a long road ahead of us to practice perfect. I mean, we just got a year till duck season, so as long as we get him decent by then, I am gonna be extremely happy. You just got that hard ahead, don't ya? It's your way or the highway. But the good news, you got introduced to gunfire, and it did not bother you at all, did it? Not at all, it was great. Basically, I gave my brother and dad a shotgun and said, hey, go on the back side of the property, uh, do a little, little shooting with some clay pigeon rounds as I start on the other end of the property. And Charlene and I would just walk it as I had a bumper with me and just did a little bit of fetch while there's just background noise slowly walking towards my brother and dad uh, we were able to get shoot like 50 yards from him and banks would kind of just look off but did not care he just wanted to keep going after the bumper so that was kind of the highlight of the week in terms of his training kind of the biggest thing i was nervous about so i'm very glad that that went well we're trying to do a little bit of heel work and multiple marks again or double marks uh, you know just don't want to push them too fast too soon just taking it one step at a time and I just want to get to six months so I can get to the formal obedience. I'm super excited to get him to heal and sit on command rather than when he pleases. But yeah, that is it for this episode of Duck Dog Training with Smart Work. Tune in next week for episode three. Bye.